Oh, I'm back. Don't believe this, viewers. The man that uh, got of a Tremaine actually uh, knew, had, had met, who was a crack commando, has turned out to be Gorgon Garst's brother, Ramesses. Um, I mean, believe that or not, I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. And if you remember Gorgon Garst, he helped Comedy uh, quite a lot, but then vanished. He, um, rather surprisingly, a while back. But uh, anyway, Ramesses, his brother is here, and um, like his brother Gorgon does, um, he's going to be helping us try and get Comedy and Helena back from Katrina Hortensia. I'm just trying to get, um, just trying to get Clive to. Uh, I'm going to get Clive to uh, just check uh, Mamesis' uh, you know, um, credentials and everything, but uh, he's, he's a bit tired. And, uh, oh, don't worry about that, uh, Gulliver. If, uh, if Mamesis is going to help get comedy back, then... Uh, yes, well, I see, see what you mean. Yes, it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> oh, I, I can assure you I'm genuine, anyway. Oh, blimey. It's amazing that you know my uh, brother, though. I haven't seen him for ages. You say he got he got quite involved with uh, this Katrina Hortensia. Um, yes. In fact, the last time I saw Golden Ghast, he was involved uh, against Katrina Hortensia. Who's the lady who we want you to, uh, we need you to uh, get comedy back from? Unfortunately, though, after that little incident, we don't know what happened to your brother. He just vanished. I'm afraid Katrina was involved, though. Uh, well, in that case, in that case, even more reason to uh, to help you. I only met Mr. Tremaine in the in the pub a couple of times, but uh, you know he was able to contact me, and yes, sir. I mean, I admit I haven't done any crack commando stuff for a while, but uh, I'm your man. Oh, if that woman, that Katrina woman, if she's had anything to do with my brother, possibly, yeah, doesn't bear thinking about. Brotherly binds between our family is quite strong. Oh, don't you worry. We'll get her back. We'll get your friends back. And we'll finish her off for good. All right. All right. Whatever way you like it. I saw a sign, it said somewhere 18 miles, didn't it? Paul? Yeah. Not suitable for motor vehicles. Lovely up here, Pat. Hey? Lovely up here, though. Well, we. Look at the sign in your dad. Uncle Bulgari! Da 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 da! We have to go back the way we can, no? It's a bit. No, go to York! No. Why? Look, I don't have a lot of petrol. I want to get some petrol. Oh, right, all right. Why didn't you tell us that, Dad? just making an argument about it. Well, I never.
known as the Swiss cast. If I go like that, yeah, word up, homeboy. This is called the Archer. Graham, this is very strange. It's called the Pikeman. It's for a stupid knobby tight man, it's harm. Graham, this is strange. Oh, he's These aren't usual sculptures. No. They, look, look, listen, look, look. They look like they're, they're stone, they're stone. They're not. But they're real. No, well, listen, listen. Look, this is obviously these were made hundreds of years ago. These are the shapes of people. Obviously, they're a bit abstract art. That's another warrior. That's another warrior. God, and they're that's another warrior. What they're fighting though? It's flat. They're fighting something which is not human. No, it's got a tail. It's got a tail. You don't see many humans with tails. That could that might represent the devil. I'm not sure. Yes. I'm unless kissing that. unless this is a literal representation. This is some sort of alien creature that well, they maybe. fought. Maybe. They were fighting this, and the evil mother, what's it, cast a spelly stony thing on them. And this evil is mother, what's it? This is real people. Or Katrina or something? Yeah, I don't know. These are real people. What you mean this could be... This could be real people. Frozen... Yeah. Well, like if, that's, like if, the, like if, that's if that's any idea, if that's any likeness to what the creature was like, it's got three arms, I think it's quite a good thing that she did then. <laughs> Come like on, let's a, go. It's like, um, what is it, that, that programme, um, for the, they went for that wardrobe. Oh, Narnia, they were turned to stone, you know, that's... Uh, I don't know. Whatever it, whatever it is, it's a bit strange. Rather strange, whatever it is. Oh, by the way, Auntie and the rest of them have gone off separately. Uh, um, Tremaine, and, uh, Tremaine is uh, working out what the next move is going to be with uh, uh, Tremaine and what's his name? Oh, yeah, Mamesies. Yeah, they're working out what they're going to do, and Graham and I are looking around the castle. <laughs> Grab it. The ravished icon. Yeah, lovely. Maybe it's an idol. Maybe they're evil people. Little goblins. Anyway, as I was saying, um, Mr. Tremaine and uh, Ramesses are sorting business out, and uh, I'm with Graham, but. Uh, no sign of Katrina Hortensia anywhere. Now that she's presumably admitted to, to Graham that's all of the fame up, we're going to have to prove, though, we're going to have to have find some way to prove Graham's innocence. Now we know. At least we suppose we know. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the castle, Katrina Hortensia brings her plans into fruition, directing her attentions on Auntie Jessie. My revenge soon, soon. <laughs> Hello, we want pound. <laughs> 